announcing the Chicago Bears, the Wrigley Field loudspeaker boomed. And to the Pittsburgh Steelers, it must have seemed that the Bears would come bursting forth forever. Dick Butkus, number 51, led a searing, rib-cracking defensive charge that allowed the Steelers the magnificent sum of 86 yards in total offense for the afternoon. The Steelers found themselves punting often, or else wishing they had. Rudy Kuchenberg, number 59, and Ed Obradovich, 87, crumbled rookie quarterback Terry Hanratty for a safety. Meanwhile, the Bears rookie signal caller Bobby Douglas, number 14, was learning that the life of a scrambling quarterback can be traumatic. Although Douglas kept losing his headgear, he never lost his head as he coolly masterminded the victory starved Bears toward their first win. Gail Sayers, number 40, had another great afternoon. The sign read, go, go, Gale, and go, go, he did for 109 yards and two touchdowns. But the real hero was Bobby Douglas. His pass to number 89, Bob Wallace, gave the Bears a 25-0 advantage. And for Pittsburgh, it wasn't a question of staying in the game. It was a question of staying alive. Not to be outdone by Hanratty, Steeler quarterback Dick Shiner was also dropped for a safety. Bears 31, Steelers nothing. A Douglas pass to number 41, Brian Piccolo, shown from two camera angles, made the final score 38-7. Chicago had its first victory of the year, and the Steelers had learned a lesson in zoology. There is no animal quite so dangerous as a hungry bear.